Hey everybody, welcome to Learn Billiards. I'm Eddie Altman, your PBIA instructor. Today, um, by special request from one of my subscribers, they had asked if we could go over um, mid-range and long-range stun shots. So I'm going to be going over half table, three-quarter table, and full table stun shots. So uh, let's jump right into it. Let's go ahead. Just have object ball that's corner pocket, half table, stun shot. Now remember, the longer the distance, the lower you're going to have to hit the cue ball for a stun shot. If you just hit center ball on the cue ball, when you're any distance away, Meaning, once you get past um, two feet, three feet, if you go ahead and just hit center ball on the cue ball, it will um, continue to roll forward. So on a shot like this, if I was to hit center ball, I'm going to scratch, which that cue ball is going to follow right in. Just the longer the distance between your object ball and the cue ball, Stunt shot, you just send in that cue ball straight. There's no rotation on the ball. But after a certain distance, the cue ball will start rotating forward. So that momentum will continue on. So the further you are away from your uh, object ball, the lower you want to hit on that cue ball. So a shot like this, I'm probably two tips down from center. And that'll keep me from, or I should say, that'll keep the cue ball from continuing to roll forward. Let's take another shot like that. Again, this is half table. I'm hitting that medium speed. And you can see how the cue ball just stops dead. All right, so let's go ahead and take this shot. And as you can see, the cue ball stopped. It didn't continue to roll forward, so I didn't scratch. Now also, if you weren't real comfortable with a stun shot, but again, you really need to learn a stun shot. I mean, it's one of the most basic shots in pool. But for whatever reason, um, if you were real far away and you were nervous about taking the shot, you can play it off the rail. And you don't have to worry about scratching. But again, you know, I highly recommend Practice the stun shot. Um, you, need to, you definitely need to know it. All right, now let's go ahead and take this as a full length stun shot. All right, now that was dead on. Now, I hit, had to hit that with a, a medium to fast uh, stroke, and I had to hit it low on the cue ball. So basically, I, I was lining up my shot like if I was going to do a power draw shot. So um, it's very, very important the way you hit that cue ball. So the further, I should say, if you were here and you're going to do a stun shot, yes, you can hit the center of the cue ball. When it makes contact, it's going to stop dead. Your object ball will make it in the pocket. As you get further away, you're going to have to drop down one tip on the center of the cue ball. So one tip below center of the cue ball as you get further apart. And again, you go lower on the cue ball as the distance between the cue ball and the object ball increase. Just always remember, as you get further apart between the object ball and the cue ball, you want to hit lower, below center I should say, on the cue ball. So the greater the distance, the lower you're going to hit that cue ball. So if you were just doing a standard shot, maybe like two feet, two and a half feet, you could hit center on the cue ball. You start spreading that out, now I'm probably going to hit a tip and a half below center on this cue ball. And then when I did the full length shot, I took it like a power draw shot. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If there's any other videos you'd like to see, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you and to put a video together for, just for you. So please share with your friends, hit that bell button. This way you'll always be notified when I upload a new video. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you.